Hey guys, Cam Callender here to bring to you the MSI concept, eight streams of income, income streams, part number five. Now this part, number five, dividend income is by far my favorite income stream out of all eight of them. Absolutely love dividend income. I think it's is one of the great ones. Res residual income is way up there as well, but I also like dividend income for a lot, a lot of different reasons. Um, dividend income, as stated, is shown income just from owning a stock. So there are stocks out there that will have dividends tied to them where basically the companies will pay you for owning a piece of their stock. So it's a kickback that you get from owning those stocks. And different companies have different income yields and amounts that they will pay you in different time frames that they'll pay you in. Some will be monthly, some will be quarterly, some will be just annually. So it just kind of depends on the way that stock is structured. But still, that's extra income from owning a piece of that company, and you can also earn on the growth of that company as well. So it's a like kind of a win-win in, in, uh, in part of investing in the stock world that I, I happen to like, and I like a lot of with dividends, uh, because I like to get that extra kickback and have that income coming in, you know, and banking on it every year after year, and, and also using a drip methodology, which will take that dividend income and it'll reinvest it in the stock that you own. So most of the time you can gain more of that stock. And now with, with the possibility of fractional share purchasing and still earning off of those dividends of fractional shares in some stocks, you can do that as well. So it's, you know, if you're already going to be in the market and you're going to be investing, you might as well get that extra bonus kickback from that if you're going to be banking on those stocks that are growing as well as getting that dividend income and having that dividend income grow as well. So if that income is growing and you get, you know, enough stocks and you build your portfolio and you have enough of that dividend income coming in, you can then live off of that dividend income as well. So that's another income stream that you can build up. You can start it now over time, build it up, have it grow and grow and grow to where that dividend income is really a, a great, extra income source. Not only do you have the stock market that can grow, everything's kind of been down right now with what's been going on with COVID, but those stocks will rally back up at some point and those dividends will come right along with them. So, you know, definitely I would look out if you're in the market at all, if you're in with stocks, definitely start uh, looking at diversifying your portfolio with some, you know, some stocks that are having dividends as well. You know, it's just another piece of income to have inside of there to have those dividends if you're already in the market and doing those type of trades. It's just an extra piece that you can look into. So definitely something that you can build up and grow and grow and grow. And I like having that so you can keep on adding to it. Um, you can definitely check on, you know, different stocks that, and that you can add uh, drip to, uh, which is dividend reinvestment program. So if you then you have, that's where you have the dividends that will go back in to purchase more of those stocks as they're released to you. And then you can check on when those dividends are coming out so those companies will report you know when you would have to have owned that stock by so you would have to earn it own it by a certain date and then they'll tell you when they'll pay a dividend out based on that stock earning on that date so they'll close out at certain times so look out for those and building that extra income stream so if you definitely want to take a look at this strategy and look at some of the things that i invest in definitely connect with me i'll be able to show you you know exactly what i'm doing with with dividend income and how i kind of look at stocks and way I look at things as far as the dividend income piece. Because I think it's really something there if, if you know you are in the stock market at all. So definitely connect with you. Pretty short and quick video today because dividend income is pretty self-explanatory once you get into it. Um, just seeing those dividend yields, you just have to know where to look. So there's only a couple of places to look for if you're already looking at the stock market, depending on where you're trading at. Just look at that dividend yield and it'll show you how much. And then you can look at the dividend payout terms in any prospectus of a stock. So, but we can dive more into that on a personal level if you wanna connect with me. So just quick, just to give you that, that fifth income stream to look out for and that dividend income. So thanks for watching, stay tuned for the rest of the series. And I hope to see you watching on more and like my contact content, like, share, and you know, post it around and let people know of this content. So thanks for watching.